Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, the Asian Dark Magician, back again with a another trade, trade binder update slash uh, updates from my thirty five hundred dollar collection that I just recently bought. Um, so basically, I'm just gonna go through each uh, binder as fast as fast as possible, and most of these cards in these five binders are up for trade slash sell. So if you guys are interested, please hit me up uh, either on my Instagram or um, just in the comments below. Um, I'm more active on my Instagram though, uh, just FYI. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. I'll also try to point out the cards that are not for trade slash sell because I'm going to be using them for my deck. So anyways, I'm going to go through, through them as fast as possible. So yeah, these are pretty much just net cross cards, I believe. Yeah. This is ulti first, I believe. Yeah. Because of the YouTube time limit, I'm just gonna go through each page uh, quick. So, um, you guys, of course, have any questions, please reach out to me. I'll let you guys know like which pack it came from, the condition. Uh, most of them should be near mint, but there are some lightly played, if I remember right. Uh, what's that? The condition, if it's like first ed or unlimited, if you guys are into that. Uh, condition, what was that? And, um,. Oh yeah, rarity, I guess, as well, but most of the rarities should be pretty obvious at this point. Um, but if not, yeah, just please let me know uh, if you guys are interested in some. Also, I want to... Oh, so most of these was a Harpy, Harpies cards are not up for trade for, or sale because I am going to be building a Harpies deck. But yeah, so let's keep going. Oh yeah, so my trade... Wants will be probably in the description below. I'm actually looking for quite a bit of cards also. Uh, in addition, I'm only willing to trade or sell up to, or, or sell uh, up to $25 plus in value because shipping here in Cali is like super expensive. So I don't want to like ship like small cards and lose money off of that. That's another uh, important information. So this is Ulti from Astro, Astro Pack, I think. Or from the original set? No, it's from Astro Pack. And I think this is from the original set. This is Tour Guide, and this is the Tour Bus. Yeah, Tour Bus. Uh, North American print, not Euro print. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna keep going as fast as, oops, sorry. I think I went a little too fast on that. Good. Try to keep everything as fast as possible. All right, this is ulti first from the original set, I believe. Yeah, here's some Cosmos. It's a skill drain. Those are pretty much staples in almost every deck nowadays. Here's some high rarity mermail stuff, deck cores. So yeah, most of these binders contain like uh, deck cores and uh, pretty much just, yeah, pretty much deck cores overall. And uh, very useful cards. Um, I know Mermails are gonna be uh, trying to get up there as, as soon as their new support drops out, or not drops out, but um, you know, um, gets in. And here we go. And that's it for this binder. Move on. Sorry, I'm just going like super fast because the time limit, of course. Alright. Yeah. Some heroes, cyber dragons. Oh, and also another remark, uh, I do not send first if you come to me. Uh, that's very important, and please do not waste my time. I know I don't have as much refs at the moment, but I've been scammed before, so I uh, I elected to not send first anymore because of uh, that scam incident that happened a, a few years back uh, with the Yu-Gi-Oh uh, Yu -Oh cards, actually. So, yeah, and I almost actually got scammed again, uh, but... Uh, so, because I almost decided to send first, but 
But there was this guy on Instagram that uh, he reached out to me saying he has some amazing cards and uh, you know I was gullible and I actually agreed to him. And this one of my good friends on Instagram, shout out to uh, Chaos uh, Ghost Emperor, who saved me from trading with him because uh, the dude, he was just going to send like a fake package or with a, a fake tracking number and not actually send me my package because I was about to send first. So, uh, yeah, be careful out there, guys. There's a lot of scammers out there. But uh, obviously, you do not trust me, then do not uh, reach out to me first because I will definitely not be sending first. But I am very trustworthy because if you look at my eBay record, I always you know send, send the cards as soon as I get mine uh, immediately. So, yeah. But, you know, if I do have work, I will let you know uh, before I send it, of course, uh, because, you know, work gets in the way. Actually, I'm keeping this, the Red Eyes Fuera Metal, it's the first edition. Uh, I gotta keep that for one of my decks. Um, yeah. Yep, so that's the other remark that I wanted to bring up. Oh, I'm also keeping this. This is also not for trade. Sorry, guys. Um, this is gonna be used for my Dark Magician deck. Alright, let's see. Keep going. Uh, yeah. So let's keep going. So those are a couple of cards that I'm not willing to trade or anything. Oh, so here's oh same thing with this. I'm keeping this Akashi Magician as well. But uh, you know the Sky Striker stuff is up for trade. Uh, these are two OTs. These are both OTs from the was it the OTS pack? OTS pack ten. So yeah, those are quite expensive. I'm keeping one of these as well, so the other two could be up for trade. Uh, let's keep going. Keep going. Oh, and uh, also the Boral Swords. Uh, I'm keeping the first Ed one. This is up for trade or sell. I'll probably be putting up this, this up for eBay. Or, you know, if someone wants to buy it, then, you know, just hit me up. Now, we'll negotiate a price for that. It's the second binder. Third binder, orange binder. Here are the Malefics. Malefics are gonna get their new support soon, so uh, those cards will be rising up in price, I believe. Here's some Ogopolo, uh, Ogopogo, <laughs> hard to pronounce. Then uh, danger cards. Oh, also black wings. Cop them while they're cheap, guys, because black wings are gonna skyrocket in price once their new support comes out. I'm pretty sure of it. So yeah, some other cards. Sorry if I'm going too fast, but uh, yeah, we're already at the, almost at the eight minute mark. Here's some Curry Bandits. Curry Bandits, not Curry Bandits. Something like that, but yeah. Let's keep going. Some Pendulums. Here's some Adolches. Dragon Spirit of White. Some more uh, Mermails, Malefics. I think this is damaged. I think that's why the seller put it upside down. Yeah, or more than uh, damage regular. I don't know, I didn't take it out the sleeve yet, so I don't know. There's some Ulti Swamp Frogs from the, what, eight? Astro? No, OTS packs. These are expensive, actually. I think they're like 90 a piece or something like that. I might be wrong, but that's what I last remember, actually. So here's a Chaos Emperor Dragon. They recently got unbanned, and it's unlimited from IOC, which is Invasion of Chaos. Quite expensive. That's my second one, actually. Actually, I have two first ed and two unlimited, actually. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So Dark Magicians. I wonder if I just turn off the flash. Looks like it's really hard to see, guys. Sorry about that. Fire Fist, I think Fire Fist is getting new support. I recently just sold like a deck core for like 65 bucks. Then I just noticed the price like went up, which is fr which is crazy. I think I could have sold it for more. But you know, what happens, happens. Am I right? Let's keep going. So we're at nine minutes. Dark Road Ruler Hades. We have two more binders to go. The pink one is short, but it has like expensive cards. 
So yeah, I'll keep that for the last. Oh, here's some Blue Eyes Alternative. It's pretty pricey as well. I think they're like, I don't know if they went down, but because I haven't checked it recently, but I know last time they were like 25 a piece. They may, they may be like 20 a piece now, but I don't know. Some Cyber Dra place there Cyber Dragons, the DMG. More pendulum cards. More pendulum cards. These are secret first, I think. Oh, this is secret unlimited. This is secret first. Uh, yeah. Oh, here are some pretty expensive cards. Here's a Karibo from what PCY? Forgot what the game is called, but yeah. Here's an old T Ogre up for trade because I have a playset. If you guys watched my last video or last two videos. You guys can see I, um, you know, purchased a playset, so that's up for trade. Same thing, trade or sell. This is also up for trade for sale or sales from the o OP pack, OTS pack. Yeah, it's ulti, ultimate. So it's pretty cool. Orange binder is done. Let's go to the blue binder, blindy. All right, so let's see what we get. Some spells. Some more spells. Actually, a lot more spells. Beginning to the end or beginning of the end got two of those I think I'm I'm debating whether to keep the the place that a bingo uh, Bingo machine goes we'll see because I also have a blue eyes deck that I'm running as well So I may be keeping a place set of those since I don't have a place set yet But we'll see There's a secret rare silver card I'm keeping the place of trade-ins because I don't have secret rares and I really love secret rares. Yeah, these are from the OTS packs. Not Crossroad Chaos. Although I do prefer the Crossroad Chaos because it's from the original set. First edition, of course. I'm a very nostalgic person. Oh, probably keeping this Twin Twister as well. Keep that in mind. I only have two, I need a place set. But two's been working out pretty well. But right, keep them just in case, you know. Dark Core. Dark Burning Magic. This card went up in price as well. Because I know, I remember I was buying it for like 99 cents and now they're like 10 bucks or something. 10 to 12 bucks. Yeah. So yeah, those definitely went up in price. Because Dark Magician with the Dark Magician Girl support, I guess you could say. Made it go up in price. Place out of Dimensional Prisons. What was this? Cyber Network. Things for Cyber Dragons. Safe, place out of Safe Zones. Place out of Skull Prisoners and First Monarch. Here's a, play, a bunch of Phoenix Chains. These are all, these three are from the original packs. This is the first Ed one. A bunch of Icarus attacks, a bunch of mirror forces, and mis and two mistakes. Keep going. Yeah, so I let's see. On top of my head, I know I'm looking for some evenly matches. Another first Ed Ulti Veiler. What else? Two more Ulti Droll Ulti Drolls. Um, what else? So that's it for that blue binder. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, two infinite and permanents. Uh, secret first. Some pretty expensive cards. Or other cards I've got. Yeah, maybe I sh definitely should have turned off Flash. So hard to see. Ulti Lila. Unlimited though. And I think that's it. His guard... Guard Dragons, a bunch of them. Those are gonna go up in price, I think. And uh, here we go, is the, the probably the most expensive page in this entire collection. So yeah, Ulti Veilers, you know, these, this is pretty much a near damn perfect Stardust Dragon. I looked at it recently and there's like no flaws, there's no scratches on it. So this is, would be worth a lot of money. This D, no, actually I'm gonna keep this DDS. I'm keeping this Dark Magician of Chaos. I do have another one, so this like lightly played with like a little ding right there. So I'll put that up for trade, but trade or sell. But I'm gonna put these up for sale as well because these two are like, oh, I'm keeping that. And this is expensive and I have one. So I'm gonna be putting that up for trade or sell. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the trades. Um, Please hit me up.
rate, comment, subscribe, and your boy, the Asian Dark Magician, signing out. Peace, y'all.